Hi everyone, Kate is here and welcome to this new video. You know guys, something tells me that this JetBooking 2.4 update has just brought to us a couple of the most anticipated and desired features that everyone, like literally everyone, has been waiting for impatiently. Weekend and seasonal pricing. So yes, today we will go over their settings and see how to implement them in your projects. But before we proceed any further, please make sure that you are subscribed to our YouTube channel if you haven't done so yet. And also, please let us know in the comments below your feedback about this update, okay? So guys, shall we get started? So the first thing that I want to mention, we actually wanted to make sure that this functionality is as simple as possible in use so that there would be no digging in the settings. And that is why both weekend and seasonal pricing options have been added straight into the booking instance post type. So let's hop into the dashboard to see what I'm talking about. As you can see, in the general settings of the JetBooking plugin, I have Rooms CPT selected as the booking instance post type which means that all booking-related instances will be applied to this particular post type directly. That is why let's follow to the Rooms CPT and open one of the rooms available. Over here is the block for pricing settings, where previously we only had a possibility to set up just advanced pricing rates. Right now we have two more options to play around with and use in the projects – weekend pricing setup and seasonal pricing setup. So let's start with the first one. As you can see, the settings here are pretty comprehensive. We have two columns – one for the day of the week and another one for the price itself. So let's say we want to enable weekend pricing for Saturday and Sunday and set up the prices for them to $350. Let's hit Save button, good, and update the post to make sure that all changes have been applied. Okay, pretty easy, right? So let's go to the front end and see whether the changes have been applied to our booking form. Here's our homepage. Let's follow to Rooms and open the standard room page. OK, let me book this room. So, let's see how the price changes if we pick one night during the working days. So, let's make it from Thursday the 3rd to Friday the 4th. OK, so the price is $300. But what if we go for the Saturday night from the 5th to the 6th of February. There we go. Now the price went up to $350 per night, just as we've set up at the back end. And now, what if we want to check in on Thursday the 3rd and check out on Sunday the 6th, which is going to be two regular price nights and one weekend price? Great! As you can see, it calculates everything with no problem. OK, so let's select the number of guests, add additional services we'd like to use, hit Next, and proceed to the next part of the form. Enter the details, and click Go to the checkout page. Here we can enter the required information, pick the payment method, and place the order. Great! That was pretty easy, right? Just a couple of clicks and everything is working like a clock. But guys, here I'd like to emphasize that the formula in your booking form has to be set up correctly, okay? Here's just an example of the total calculated field in my booking form, where advanced price dates is a macro that returns advanced rate, which can be regular price, advanced rates, weekend price, and seasonal rates, multiplied by the number of days booked. 
Field dates multiplied by field guests multiplied by field additional services A counts the price for the first service, which is breakfast, and then adds the second transfer and the third extra bed services to the initial price. So guys, if you ever encounter any issues with calculated field formulas, forms, or anything else, please don't hesitate to contact our support team via ticketing or chat systems or even Zoom calls so that our guys and girls could assist you, okay? And right now, let's hop into the dashboard one more time to see how the seasonal pricing feature works. We're back to our standard room post and all we have to do here is click on the add price button under the seasonal prices section. So here's the holy place for setting up your high and low seasons pricing and anything else that you can think of. For example, just for one day like Valentine's Day or Christmas. So you can add as many seasons as you need just keep in mind that the priority will be set to one that is at the bottom, so the last one added. And again, the settings here are way too comprehensive in my humble opinion, so I'm pretty sure that there will be no problems in figuring out how to customize them. So let's enter the title, let it be high season, set the price to $350 and add a weekend price. $370 for Saturday and Sunday. Select the season start and end dates. OK. The settings are being saved instantly, but let's update the post just in case and proceed to the front end again. Click on the Book Now button and first, let's select one date, the 9th of February. The total price here is $300, that is the regular price set up for this room. But if we select the 10th of February, here's where the high season starts and the seasonal pricing is being applied. So the price changed to $350 per night. Okay, now let's go for the weekend too. Let's select the check-in date, the 10th of February, and the check-out date, the 13th of February. So two seasonal price nights, $350 per each, and one seasonal weekend price, $370 per night. And what if we want to stay four nights in this room? Let's say we want to move in on February the 9th, the regular price, $300, and move out on February the 13th, seasonal weekend pricing, $370. So it should be $300 plus $700 for two seasonal days and plus $370 for a seasonal weekend day. $1,370 in total. Wonderful. Now we can proceed with selecting the number of guests, adding some additional services if we like, filling out the details, and submitting the form the same way we did it before. So that's pretty much it for today. Such a long-awaited functionality that has been implemented in such an elegant and easy way thanks to our lovely developers. And actually, by the way, have you seen our About Us page? I personally think that it is super cool, seeing the people who are doing their best to make sure that your website building experience is as easy as possible. What can be better? Probably seeing them in person, right? So if you love Crocoblock and feel like supporting us, please keep in mind that we do accept pizza. Okay, I hope that this video was useful for you, and if so, don't forget to give it a like. And just as always, please leave your feedback right in the comments below, share your ideas with us on our GitHub page, and join our friendly Facebook community. Cheers, guys!